hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing and telling you guys step by step how i bleached the knots of my nautilus wig i have to say the process was not easy at all but i managed to still do it so i hope you all enjoy so as you guys see i have um two developers out 40 developer and 30 developer i also have my spray bottle with water in it um i already green only forming cream two bleach packets i have a white tooth brush comb and a comb i have my t-pens my clip my mixing bowl that you guys just seen i also have my like brush to mix up the bleach and developer so that's good um so that's all that i really really use I use the um, pintail comb to like part the hair and stuff and the white tooth comb to like comb out the like knots and things along with the white tooth brush comb. Now I'm going to show you guys how I like comb out the hair and stuff like this. At this moment, I'm just like showing you guys like how the hair has bounced to it. I really love this hair. Like it's so soft. It's amazing. Um, I'm showing you guys the box. That's the box it came in. This hair, like, it, it's really, really soft. As you guys can see how I'm combing through it, it is soft. It's amazing. Um, I have to say, like, it's just really amazing. Um, at this point, I'm really struggling to get it on the head. But do not laugh at me, please. I was struggling to get it on the head. So I'm just going to, like, fast forward the video a little bit. So you don't have to, like, see me struggle. <laughs> Now that I finally managed to get the wig onto the wig head, I'm sort of just going to show you guys how I, you know, bleached the knots of my Nautilus wig. Um, I came a little closer, as you guys can see. I want you guys to see everything step by step. So I'm putting my T-pins in to hold down the wig. Please, when you do this step, put cinnamon wrap on your wig head. Do not follow me put cinnamon wrap because as you guys are gonna see later i really messed up my wig head really bad so i suggest you do that um i'm kind of gonna fast forward this clip a little bit so that we can you know get to business get to working and show you guys how to bleach this wig okay now i'm gonna show you guys the real tea on how to bleach your knots for your wig um as you guys noticed i got the bw2 bleach but i know there's other um bleaches on the market like quick white for instance you can use whatever bleach suits you but i really do suggest you use like a 30 developer um if you really want to like sit there and wait and you have a lot of times on your time on your hands you can use a 20 developer it's fine i really don't suggest using 40 unless you're like really an expert expert with it because it really bleaches fast like so fast and i wish i would have used the 30 instead of the 40 but okay so now i'm opening up the bleach and i just use one packet um for this because you don't really need that much bleach as i said it bleaches really fast so i if you're using like a 20 developer you probably still wouldn't um need like two packets so yeah in this instance i really went overboard with the bleach i used the whole packet and i didn't really have to so i'm going to pour i'm gonna pour the 40 developer into the bowl um now when you pour the developer into the bleach you don't want to get it really um liquidy you want it to get um like a paste sort of like a paste but not liquidy because you don't want the bleach to really get onto the hair you just want it enough to bleach the knots when you get it onto the hair it may you know you're gonna have your roots looking yellow and then like your lace so you don't want to mess it up so you just as you guys can see i'm gonna add a little bit of um developer because i didn't use that much also as you guys can see i don't want it too liquidy i really do not want it to go you don't want it to go through your lace so that is one thing to make sure of don't just go and pull the whole bottle pour some and then mix it and then pour some So 
so now that i'm finished as you guys can see this is like a paste like this is how you want your bleach to be you want it to be a paste like you don't want it too liquidy so that it goes through through the lace onto the hair you want it just like this okay now i'm going to bleach these knots yes hunty <laughs> now i'm gonna tie up the hair because again i do not want no bleach getting onto the hair and as you guys can see i was getting really upset because it was getting in my way so i just tied it up and now i'm gonna as you guys see it's a paste like so i'm gonna start from the top and work my way down again you don't have to do this you can do it any way you prefer but i prefer this way so I'm not brushing it too hard. I'm brushing it like in a gentle manner. You, if you brush it too hard, I feel like the bleach is gonna go through the lace. Like you're, it's like you're rubbing it in. So that's why I prefer it like in between. You don't want to brush it too soft because you want to bleach these knots, don't you? <laughs> so I'm gonna apply an even amount of bleach, not too much, and not a little bit. So it's like in between. And I'm going to speed up this video so you guys can see the ending result of how the bleach should look onto the lace. Now that I finished putting my bleach onto my lace, my knots, I am going to put my timer in 20 minutes and I'm going to put some aluminum foil around it. When you put the aluminum foil, don't press down on it. Just let it sit there. Um, you notice that I, it looks like I pressed down on it, but I actually like folded it so it can like stick up there and like hold. So I'm going to let that sit for 20 minutes and we'll be back now i'm gonna wash off the bleach off my um lace i'm using the trasmon shampoo and the trasmon conditioner and i'm just i just put um shampoo up there first and i just washed it off so that's what i'm doing i also i'm gonna speed up this video i noticed that i over bleached the knots a little little bit but i'm gonna show you guys my technique on what to do when you over bleach your knots like i did a little bit So now I'm going to show you guys what to do when you over bleach your lace a little, little bit like I did. So I found some extra black dye laying around in the house and I'm just applying it to the very, not the roots, roots of the hair, but the hair. And I'm going to use my pin tail comb right now to brush upwards to go towards the root. And this is to avoid getting the black dye on the root of the um, lace. Because you do not want to get any black dye on the lace as you're going to have to bleach the whole thing all over again. And you don't want that to happen. You do not want that to happen. So I didn't apply the black dye onto the lace because I feel like that is really going to mess it up. You can also do that and apply some freeze blast spray. But I prefer this method to take very caution of, you know, avoiding it. So I'm just brushing upwards, and as you guys are going to notice, I don't get any black dye onto the lace. Yes, hunty, I didn't get any black dye onto the lace. And I'm just brushing upwards with it, and it actually worked. 
it actually worked i'm gonna speed up the video to show you guys how it came out afterwards i was really shocked myself So now I'm going to show you guys the aftermath of me flix fixing it. I'm just so happy at this point because I really was upset that I over really shit. I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So now I'm going to show you guys. As you guys can see, it looks really realistic. It don't look that realistic because it ain't plucked yet, honey. But it looks realistic. And I'm really happy with this. Um, as you, I don't know if you guys saw it before, but it was really like a light brown going into black. It just looked like an epic fail, period. So now it's fixed and I'm just so happy. Um, I'm just kind of, when you add the black dye to fix your, um, overbleach lace knot, you want to, um, actually have conditioner on the lace too. So it kind of helps with the process and avoids you getting the black dye on the lace and things so i have conditioner on, up there and it helps listen it works okay so now i'm just gonna wash off the conditioner and the black dye and i'll see you guys in a minute and there you have it this is the aftermath of me bleaching the knots and over bleaching the knots a little bit i'm so happy i'm so happy stay tuned for the behind the scenes of me plucking this hairline i tried my best so i would love to see you guys comment of the feedback i'm so happy i got to share this experience with you guys this is the aftermath it looks good honey it looks good hunty yes so stay tuned for the behind the scene footage So now I'm going to show you guys how I plucked my wig. Please do not laugh at me. So as you guys can see, I'm going in like a backwards um, position with my tweezers. I'm moving backwards with it, starting from the front and going back. That's how I pluck my uh, lace. Um, this was my first time plucking my wigs. I never did this before. And I, I have to say, I think I did pretty good. What you think? Comment in the comments how you think I did with the plucking um i really hope to get better though um i actually enjoyed this part this part was really really fun so i'm moving backwards with it in the manner um i'm gonna sort of like speed see if i can speed up the video a little bit but you got i'm gonna bring you closer to the lace to show you guys how was the aftermath and things i really enjoyed this part i have to say it was so fun plucking this wig <laughs> um I struggled a little bit, so I tried to get my lace 
more like a pull back manner as realistic as I can because I didn't want it to look like a straight line that I just put the wig on slapped it out the box and just put it on that sort of look so I wanted to like get the pull back um the pull back gesture and it looked it really nice at the end so stay tuned and you guys are gonna see the ending result So I'm coming to a wrap now with the plucking of this hairline. I think I did it to suit me the best way I can. I hope to get better plucking this wig and I can't wait to read you guys comments on how y'all think I did plucking this hairline. I thank you all for watching and I'm so happy I was able to share it with you guys step by step how I bleach my knots of my wigs. <laughs> Also, stay tuned for the knowledge hair review because, hunty, I got to tell y'all something. I got to tell y'all something about this hair, okay? I have a lot to tell y'all. So, please stay tuned for the hair review. Thank you all for watching. Bye.